Today I'm gonna show you how to add the sunrise animation with the entire design on just PowerPoint. First pick a double corner rectangle and drag it over here like this. Now increase the roundness of it. I'm resizing it a bit. Then go to format, click on shape fill and change its color. Then go to shape outline, make no outline. Then just duplicate this one two times more by pressing Ctrl D. After that, resize this one from the both side. And do the same thing for this one. Now just duplicate the middle one and place it over here. Then go to shape fill and change its color to this. Now resize it from the left side. Then again duplicate it and drag it to here. Now duplicate this shape, place it here and resize it like this way. Then again duplicate this one and drag it to here. Now go to shape fill and change this color to white. Then resize it a bit and duplicate 3 times more to make the cloud. Once again by duplicating this white shape place it here and make it smaller like this. Then pick a oval shape and holding ctrl shape drag it over here and place it right beside this shape. Now change this color from shape fill and make it no outline. Then press ctrl D to duplicate and change this color to white. Now place it over here and make it a smaller one. Now make another copy of this and place right beside it. After that pick a oval shape and make it like this. Then pick a rectangle one and place it in the exact middle of this. Now select this two, go to format, click on merge shape and make subtract. Then change this color from shape fill and make no outline. Now press ctrl D to duplicate and give it a flat color. Now click on rotate and select flip horizontal. Then place it here and ctrl G to group them together. Now send them to back. Then place it behind the shapes. Now select all of these and press ctrl G to group them together. Now I'm just duplicating this one and resizing it. Then place it here. Again duplicate this one and drag it to here. Now right click on this shape and bring it to front. I'm just replacing this two. After that it will look like this. Now pick a top corner rectangle and drag this over here. Increase the roundness of it. Go to format, click on shape fill and change its color. Then go to shape outline, make no outline. Now press ctrl D to duplicate, click on rotate and select rotate 90 degree right. Then place it here, select this two and press ctrl G to group. Now rotate like this way, then pick a pentagon shape and drag it over here. Then go to format, click on rotate and rotate like this. Now change this color from shape fill and make no outline. Now place it in the exact middle, right click on the previous shape and bring it to front. After that pick a oval shape and make it like this. Place it in the exact middle, change this color from shape fill to white and make no outline. Then press ctrl D to duplicate and again change this color to this. Now resize it a bit and place it in the exact middle. Now from here select all the shapes and press ctrl G to group. Then place it here, right click on it and send it to back. Then I'm just selecting all the cloud shapes and placing them a bit upward. Then move the house upward a bit and press ctrl D to duplicate. Now place it here and delete the circles. Now move it to here and resize the pentagon shape then send it to back. Then place it like this way and change the color of this one. Now pick a teardrop shape and make it like this. Rotate it and pick a rectangle. Place it in the exact middle. Select this two, go to format, click on merge shape and make subtract. Then change this color from shape fill and make no outline. Now duplicate this one, click on rotate and select flip horizontal. Then place it here and give it a flat color. Make sure that there is no gap between these two shapes. Now select this two and press ctrl G to group. Then place it here, ctrl D to duplicate, resize it and do the same for here. Now right click on this land shape and bring it to front. Then pick a oval shape and holding ctrl shift drag it over here. Then change this color from shape fill and make no outline. Now duplicate it and change this color. 
then resize it a bit and place it in the exact middle. Now again duplicate this circle and place it here. Then pick a rectangle and drag this over the exact middle of it. Now select this two, go to merge shape and select intersect. Then just drag this one over here. Click on the small icon, go to fill and increase the transparency to around 60%. Now select all of these and press Ctrl G to group. Then just place it over this land shape, make a few copy of it and place them like this way. After that right click on this land shape and bring it to front. Now again make a duplicate of this circle, drag it to here, resize it, make a few copy and place them like before. Then again right click on this land shape and bring it to front. Now make a duplicate of this group of shapes bring them to here right click on it and select ungroup delete the shadow part from here and then we need to change the color of this two circle so that it look like a sun then select this two and press ctrl g to group now we need to create a tree so duplicate this group of shapes again place it here resize it a bit pick a rectangle shape and drag it over here now place it in the exact middle, right click on it and send it to back. Now change this color from shape fill and make no outline. Now place it in the exact middle, select this two and Ctrl G to group, then send it to back. After that, we just need to make a few copy of it, send them to back and place them in the right position. Now pick a triangle and make it like this. Then pick a rectangle and drag it over here in the exact middle of it. Now select this two, go to format, click on merge shape and make subtract. Then change this color from shape fill and make no outline. Then press Ctrl D to duplicate and rotate like this way. Now move it to here and give this a flat color from shape fill. Then select this two and Ctrl G to group. Resize it a bit, duplicate a rectangle from here and place it in the exact middle of it. Now right click on it and send it to back. Then select this two and press Ctrl G to group. Now increase the size a bit. Send it to back. Make a few copy of it. Send them to back also and place them in the right position. After that it will look like this. And now we can add the animation. So select this cloud shape, go to animation. Click on this drop down arrow. And from here select this line animation. Then click on effect option and select left. Now move this red dot to here. And now set start with previous and the duration 3 seconds. Then click on the small icon and from here select auto reverse and press ok. After that click on animation painter to copy the animation and paste it on it. Now click on effect option and select right. Then again move the red dot like this way. Now select this shape, click on animation painter and paste it on it. Then select this one, click on animation painter and paste the animation. Now place the sun here, click on this drop down arrow and from here select line animation. Now click on effect option and select up. Then set start with previous and the duration 0.75 seconds. Now click on animation paint and from here drag the last one to the top. Then go to insert, click on shapes and pick a rectangle. Now drag it over the whole slide. Then click on the small icon, go to fill and change the color to black. Now increase the transparency to 9%. Then click on shape outline and make no outline. Now again go to animation, click on this drop down arrow and select fade. Then again from the animation pane drag the last one to the top, set it on click and the duration 1.5 seconds. Now select the second animation and increase the delay to 0.5 seconds. And our animation is ready. You can download this template for free. I have given the link in the video description. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe this channel. And don't forget to share with your friends. If you have any question or suggestion, please comment below. Hope to see you in the next tutorial. And thanks for watching.